and we're back. We are going to create the same model with model risk that we did with crystal ball. The principles are the same. We're going to take a triangular distribution with the min most likely and max and we are going to create an input distribution that references the name as well as these guys. Okay, so step number one we need to go to the gallery. Step number two, select the distribution and then steps three, four, and five. Set that. Six, seven, so seven to get the distribution and then we need to create an input so that was eight nine ten because we want to make sure it's an input so ten ten steps okay so we want to copy this so how many steps to do that well one color coding okay well with this tool we have a find function which fun which essentially enables us to pick what we're working with in this case we're going to take inputs and we're going to tell it to fill and we are going to pick uh, a green unfortunately because of my dual screens that appeared on the other screen so bear with me apply and you'll notice it applied that automatically so we had one well one two three three steps close steps to create an output well the output is this again is the other so we do a sum so step one two and then it's an output so two steps plus the color coding so two steps and we'll do that as well so but we won't count it so output and make that a pretty blue apply close alright so we're all set and last but not least let's run our simulation and so let's see we have our viewer over here just increase the size of that and we want to look at the histogram so that was pretty easy and right now it's set at 80 percent so we could set that at five the sliders well that's a little tough or we can come here and we can set them at five and ninety five percent okay apply so we had uh, to do that we needed to do uh, one two steps okay how about looking at sensitivity so well sensitivity looks like it's only one click away that's pretty good so and all this is a very nice clean chart 
However, it doesn't seem that the rank correlation values are there. So that's kind of unfortunate because we would, it would have been nice to be able to actually see the, ident the individual values here. If we wanted to look at the stats, well, we have the total and all the tests here and the various percentiles. And we can specify the number of percentiles we want to look at. Um, I'm going to look at scatter charts and the cumulative, reverse cumulative, rather accessible. And if we wanted to look at the inputs, we can even compare the inputs to the outputs. And, and so on. So I'll create overlays. Okay, and uh, if we had that as a distribution. Okay, so that covers that. Now, if we total it, we'd probably say it's about two as well. Next tool that we're going to cover is at risk. So we'll be back in a second.